Mm-hmm. Nice truck. All right, we are back for another hour of Chrono Trigger. We're at the beginning of the game. We just uh, rescued Queen Lean. Queen Leany. And let's do some shopping for our new party members. We got Karate GIs. We got to get uh, Marl up to speed with equipment and all that. And we get to do the exciting uh, chore of re-equipping everything. It's everybody's favorite part of every LP. Some people definitely edit that stuff out. I will not be doing that because, you know, I don't really care. So, <coughs> Yeah, I don't like to keep a lot of equipment. I like to sell everything. Unless it's like elemental stuff, like you get late, like the vests you get later in the game. Um, certain helmets, certain, ch you know, accessories and stuff like that I like to keep. Especially, obviously, the gold earring and uh, the gold stud. Those are extremely useful. Really? Do I have to fight these guys? Are you kidding? Man, it's a little... Bit of a short... Wow! I can't one-shot that guy. With Chrono. Okay. It's a little surprising. Anyway, we are, uh triumphantly heading back home and I can't possibly see what would happen wrong at this point so uh, you know it should be all's well our adventure should be over right all's well that ends well yes we're, we're doing so far so good we've got everybody we're just heading back to the portal let's get a move on there it is <laughs> Ta-da! It's a pinwheel. Oh, <laughs> Luca's great. Not if you say so. Here we have the Star Trek, uh, as they say, techno babble to a certain extent. It's it's streamlined a little here, and it's, but it is still kind of blah blah blah. It's getting pretty weird. Let's head back on our own time. Let's go. So we're heading home. It's still in the spooky. It's still very spooky. The novelty has not worn off yet of traveling through time. I do enjoy the further you play the game, like, the shorter those little sequences get. It's like the game understands, like, okay, you've seen this, like, three dozen times. We don't want to <laughs> make you watch it a again and again. Yeah, she had fun. We had a fun date. That's cool. Escort you home. All right, let's go. Why do you need me? Don't you know where you live? Bring your own ass home. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Anything new? Can I buy f anything from this guy? That'd be cool if I could... Yes, I can. Fuck it. Let's get the load sword. Even though it's only an upgrade of three. By the way... Hell no. I wonder if that comes up in the trial. I don't think it... I think it does, actually. Doesn't Melchior get called in as a witness? He attempted to sell... Something... Yeah, that's one bummer about this game, is you have to go in and equip stuff yourself. It's not like, um... I think even uh, Lufia 2 does that, doesn't it? Where it allows you to equip... It's been a long time since I've played Lufia 2. It's been like four or five years. So, I've been meaning to play that again. That might be a good one for a, a Let's Play. But, um... Alright, let's, let's see if I can get it again. Oh, I can beat these guys. Look at this. Both of us. This race is bullshit. Yeah, I gotta stop here and wait for these guys to catch up. What is this, Road Rash 64? Come on. Where's the weapons? Where's the brutality? Come on, Green Ambler. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't know what, I don't know what music that is. Alright, and here, if 
you gotta go. Yep, have her meet mom. Now, where was that? Yep, have her meet mom, have her meet the cat. The cat approves. And then you go upstairs and you go, quote unquote, take a snooze while mom is right there downstairs. Because that's real classy. Anyway, the real reason I did that is to get our HP back up. <laughs> Not for any perverse, terrible reasons or anything like that. So, let's uh, make our way back to the castle and escort her home. Real riveting, uh, I can see why some people think this game might get off to kind of a, a lousy start, so to speak. Um, I wonder if there's a tab over here like there is in the, uh, the other side. That would be nice. And yeah, it is, it is actually pretty important that you get some battles in with Marl. Um, because Marl and Chrono have some of the best dual techs in this game. Let's see if I've earned any. No, nope, not yet. Ice Sword and Ice Sword 2, which you learn later on, are badass spells. They are excellent against bosses, especially Ice Sword 2 once you get to like Giga Gaia and like the, the boss is much later on. So useful. So, so useful. So, tremendous. Uh, <coughs> uh, you gotta take advantage of these opportunities to raise those uh, tech points while you can. Really helps out. Anyway, I'm here drinking Jameson Caskmates. It's, um, this is the kind of whiskey... See, I don't bother cutting whiskey with ice on when it's when it's Jameson or Tullamore Dew or Two Gingers or really cheap stuff because it really doesn't matter. You're just drinking... <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're just drinking it to, you know, get a buzz going. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um... But if you have nice stuff, all right, her levels up. That's gonna that's gonna help us. Um, but if you're drinking nice stuff, if you're dr you have to cut like it's it's responsible of you to and responsible to for your investment. If you pay like fifty five sixty dollars for a bottle of scotch, you gotta you gotta ice that shit. You gotta put some ice in your glass. It's there's a chemical reaction that happens that's beyond my understanding of chemistry, of chemistry, but um, it's it adds to the f it adds to the effect of the drink and how your palate reacts to it and such. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, they took it the wrong way. They think I abducted. They think I abducted her because she disappeared. <laughs> like the Chancellor's spaz attacks always make me laugh. He like jumps, jumps thirty feet into the air. Oh no, we're surrounded by clones, I guess. <laughs> what? What did I do? Oh shit, we got a big music change, we got a big setting change. Look at this pixel art, look at that background, that is cool looking. You did not see much stuff like this back in the day. That is really creative looking. And now suddenly we're in a courtroom. Very interesting. I remember pl the, well, the first time I played this, I was like, what in God's name is this? I'm on tr This is a courtroom? Like, I did not see this coming. <laughs> really creative and it's not doing s stuff I hate to drag Final Fantasy 6 into this but it's not doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff like this fits perfectly there's a very good reason for this trial it's because they are under the impression that Chrono abducted Marley the princess Marl I can't decide on what to pronounce her name as so Yeah, let's do this. So, everything, every little thing you did. Yeah. She did. What? Who's, who's saying shit? Who's talking smack? I think this is... I don't think there's any way to avoid this, actually. If there is, let me know in the comments if you've ever avoided bumping into her. Or if there are sets... 
that's just like no there's no way around that fact just to build it you know a case against you yeah see drunk's character is at the core of this case so every little thing the first time I played this I took the guy's lunch I didn't give a shit about the girl's cat I just did <laughs> I was just you know I was impatient at the candy stand and all that sort of stuff all that stuff comes back to haunt you right here looks like they're buying it <laughs> who is this judge is that's that's not the king so who is that guy He's, he's lit underneath his face to make him look creepy. Nope, not at all. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a lame-oid. I'm a lame-ass where I do all the right things and do all the right answers and stuff like that. You can't fool me. Dear me. Oh, yep, I went for the pendant. Now, if you, if you wait around long enough, does she go and get it herself? Because I've waited around quite a long time. And I don't remember her ever getting it herself at any point. So I think that's something you have to do. Oh, we're already at the... That's a short trial. We're already at the... Um... The verdict here. What? Guilty. Fuck you. I don't think I've ever gotten not guilty all the way across the board. Despite all that stuff. I've always had one person say I was guilty, and that person can go to hell and stay there for all I care. <laughs> There's a lot worse things I could say. God, I've got two people that think I'm guilty. Is this guy going to think I'm guilty? Okay, there we go. There's the winner. And it literally, it utterly does not matter what you think I am. I don't give a shit. I'll wipe my ass with what you think about if I'm guilty or not guilty. Screw you. All right, not guilty, but three days of solitary confinement because I ran off with her? What the hell kind of justice system is that? That's garbage. Doesn't she take some responsibility here? They're not even going to question her or anything like that? She's just, just not a factor? I guess that's part of the part of the schism they wanted to build uh, between the king and his daughter. So there you go. Oh, so dramatic. Yes, we must pan up and see our awesome stained glass window again. And again, more awesome visuals. With this bridge high up in the mountains. So cool looking. To give the feeling of desolation and hopelessness. Chrono's really screwed. Look how depressed Chrono looks. That's some great art artistic stylings there with the <laughs> they kick him forward the story of chrono himself is a little interesting to me because he's evidently you know especially according to the ps1 cutscenes, he's like some kind of buffed out you know security yeah, security uh some kind of buffed out uh Swordsman, because they show him working on his technique in his in his front yard, at the, in the game's intro, you know, for the anime intro thing for the PS One game. But it's uh yeah, now I'm in jail. So I don't know if Chrono is like it's 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 established that he's a badass, or if he becomes a badass, or if he's even more if he's a badass right now at this point of the game, like or what? If he's just learning as he goes. Here's what I've got so far. Uh, is there anything I can do here? Not really. Um. <laughs> you lousy felon. I'm not lousy. I might be a felon, but I'm not lousy. Wow. Time moves by very quickly here. I think if you bug these guys enough, one of them gets impatient with you and comes in and tries to kick your ass and and gets his ass kicked. And Ulysses S. Dog just wandered in here. Gave me a look. 
and sat down. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Where did he get his sword? Is that Was that in the bag? Here we go. Let's take out this guard. Forget about calling other guards. All right. We at least get a little more experience points fighting these guys. And this one only opens halfway for some reason. Never quite understood that, but here we go. Now we wander around the jail cell parts. I don't think I want to go that way yet. Let's go up here. Let's explore this side and take out these blue shields where you literally just have to sit here until they get out from underneath their shields. And then you kick their ass and do major damage. So and they do cowardly little attacks from behind their shields, like throw stuff at you and kick you and jab you and stuff. So just got to wait for them. Be patient. You get a lot of experience points from those guys. So you can definitely come back and grind here. And let's stay on this side and see if I can find anything else. I think there might be... Can I... Oh, yeah, we just... <laughs> We've got more skeletons and stuff to fight, right? Isn't that what this is? <coughs> oh, just one? A descendant? Or decadent? Descend? Yeah. Sorry, my eyes are crossed. <laughs> my eyes are going. Is this another one that's going to open halfway? Motherfucker. If you're in on the other side, you can go out the way that way, though, right? I think. Oh, those guys don't come back? Huh. I thought they would come back. Alright, now let's explore this other building. Yep, then we get more fights, more grinding. I don't know, say what you want about, you know, the uh, battle music here. Um, it, go it almost goes without saying that you're going to get sick of the battle music when you're playing a JRPG. Because it comes and goes so often. Oh yeah, and then here's the game, like, allows you to use stealth. The guy looks away. Oh, he found me. Kind of pointless because I want to fight the guy anyway for the experience, but it does allow you the opportunity to sneak past him if you can, which is kind of nice. But, um... No, battle music is the worst... Oh, oh, that's what you do. You don't sneak past him. You just get avoid a battle and knock him out James Bond style, kind of like uh, in GoldenEye where you... Use your karate chop and knock the guy out. Sure, let's save this poor sap. How's it going? Oh, hey, it's Fritz. It's the guy that runs the thing. That's cool. There's more stuff back here, I'll bet. And a treasure. Oh, do these things come alive? All right, a bronze mail. I could really use that. Any kind of armor upgrade would be much appreciated. Yep, these guys come alive. Frampton comes alive. <coughs> yeah, Frampton comes alive was a little before my time, to say the least. Uh, yeah, I like to ramble about music a lot on these. Um, what? That didn't kill him? I like to ramble about music a lot on these uh, videos. Um, I'm trying to think of what I've been listening to lately. It's kind of, uh, I'm kind of annoyed lately because um, I just uh, did a fresh install of Windows on a new hard drive. I've got an SSD hard drive now instead of, uh, um, you know, the traditional uh, disk reading. Hard, I don't know what the correct terminology is, but the old like Western digital hard drives. Now I've got a Samsung SSD. They're awesome. They're speedy. They're fast. Let's try the other side. I know if I go down here and then I go in the other stairwell from over here, I'm curious to see what's down here. I always like to explore everything. So let's see what's what's down here, if anything. I like to explore. It's tedious, but I like looking at everything. Is this guy even going to notice me? <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a fresh reinstall. Oh, nice. Some loot. Fresh reinstall for Winamp. So I've lost all my stats 
for all the music I've listened to. Oh, this guy. Okay, fun. This will get me some experience. And some tech points, hopefully. Um, my previous... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he missed, thankfully. Um, my previous uh, install on my other hard drive for Winamp... Um, yeah, this guy misses a lot. The whiff? Uh, had all my stats for Windows uh, um, going back to early 2013. Ouch, that was a lot of damage. So it's I like having those stats because it allows me to remember like what I was listening to. <laughs> like oh, he doesn't go away, he just runs away instead of fading into its obscurity like a beat 'em up f flunky. But um. Yeah, it kind of sucks because, you know, I can look up like, oh, summer of 2014, I was listening to a lot of, I don't know, Flaming Lips and Ween and all that stuff. And, oh, yeah, I remember that song. I forgot about that song. Let's listen to that now. Or, or winter of 2015, I was listening to a lot of, like, Isan and Ulver and uh, such and such had a new album then. Like, it's 2017, Ulver had a new album this year. And it's really good. And I'm not saying I won't remember it. Uh, thanks to the, if, if I don't have my YouTube, st or YouTube, it won't have my Winamp stats, but it would be really nice to be able to carry those over to my new Winamp install, but I don't, uh, here we go. So you gotta wrap, rack up some tech points and experience here. It would be nice to be able to carry those over, and everything I've read, I, I have the exact same Windows 10 install, and nothing seems to be working. I can't get the same stats to, to appear for my uh, Windows install for or for Winamp, and it really kind of sucks. So um, it's kind of lousy, but so I'm starting fresh with a new uh, new stats, and um, it's interesting because um, I realize how much those statistics. F let's fight these guys again. Eh, well, yeah, sure, why not? Easy experience, but. Um, it, it made me realize how much I was letting stats dictate um, what I was listening to. Because I put all my music on one big playlist. I'm sure I've explained this before in previous LPs. But I put all my stuff on one big playlist and I just hit random and then I scroll through and hit next about 75 times before I finally <laughs> settle on something uh, that I want to listen to. But the, the big reason I did that was because... Um, uh, or the big reason I skipped... Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. I think there's other places I can explore first. Like, up here. What is... Oh, this allows me to climb... Yeah. I can eventually get some other stuff. Right? I, this is allow, allows me to climb outside in the wall? Yes, it does. Okay, I was, I was looking for this. I thought this was a really nice bonus. Yeah, climb down. That's where you want to go. Because you can climb... Anywhere, up to a certain extent, up or down. So, there we go. Now we get the treasure in here, and it's a shelter, and those are obviously extremely useful. So, um, yeah, no, when I was flipping through uh, random games... Uh-oh. There we go. I was flipping through random games... Uh, games, uh, random songs. I would see, oh, I've already listened to this one 75 times, or I just listened to this last week, and I would skip it and skip... All right, these guys again. I would skip it and skip it some more. And now now that I don't have that there, it's like, oh, I'm listening to a lot of stuff again. And like, just the other day, like, Welcome to the Jungle came on. And it's like, you know, like anybody else, I'm really sick of that song. But I like, um, it's nice to put it on every once in a while and listen to Slash and all that stuff. What's down here? Is there anything down here? There's a treasure. Here we go. Just listening to Slash do his thing is really nice. Oh, there's a dead guy in here. Yikes. <laughs> That's grim. You undo his blanket and it's just a skeleton falls out. That's pretty dark. Um, oh, imagine the smell. All right, so I've been down there. Let's go this way where I'm supposed to go. Yes, that's right. That's how I play RPGs. I got to do everything and go everywhere.
talk to everybody and fight everybody. Let's kick these guys' ass. The only trouble with doing this is that um, Chrono gets kind of overpowered and way ahead of the other characters once you uh, get back to him. Like, <laughs> Chrono's like two levels ahead of Luca and, and Marl, so... Here we go. This guy's gonna freak out. <laughs> he doesn't even try to fight me. And... Ah! He faints. That's because Luca's right there. You've come to save me, but you did not need my help. Or, I did not need your help. Let's blow this joint. And a magical save point appears. What do you think that means? I think that means that... Um, yeah, that means that uh, a boss fight's coming, but I don't need to really use any kind of... Of course I care to read it. Ah, yes. This is our second big boss fight, and the game still insists on... Uh... <laughs> of course. Five of them! The game still insists on uh, holding your hand a bit, and to the, you know, you don't have to check that stuff. You can just skip right past it, um, so you can go into this blind without all the mid tonics. Um, but at the same time, you c you gotta understand that the developers wanted people to get far into this game and to have a chance to get sucked into the story. So I admire that. Anyway, here we go with a big... Um, I don't want to do Slash. I think Fire World would be my best... Uh, well, yeah. I think we're just going to keep it simple. I think we got to get the head first. Yeah, because the head's repairing damage, so... 74 compared to the 200 I did there. That's a pretty good ratio. Shouldn't need to use too many replenishments here. I think we just... We're good just using uh, regular physical attacks, especially if they're big attacks like that. Man, I remember getting this far for the first time. I know it's a broken record talking about the first time I played this, but... It was a big rush getting into this battle the first time. So it's like, I'm, ex I'm escaping prison with my friend and... Yeah, I was, I really got into this game the first time I played it. It was, uh, I, and this was really the first RPG I really got into, unless you consider Adventure for Atari 2600 to, as an RPG. Come on, that head's gotta go sometime. There we go, good job, Luca. Next, I think we, yeah, do we go after the wheels or the tank itself? I think... Both. How about both? Yeah, we're and we're gonna need to replenish our health here. Oh shit, we're not doing so good. Yep, let's make use of those mid tonics we got. Luca needs one too. It doesn't matter if Luca. Well, it does matter if Luca dies because. Uh... Oh, you attacked the correct person. Thank you for that. Yep. Get another mid tonic in there. I already had two before I got to the other mid tonic. That's interesting. Or the the five other ones. That's interesting because that's probably probably all I need. And that's yeah. That's pretty much its only attack now. Is just well, there's the missiles. There's the and there's a laser that comes out of nowhere. Let's do a good old fashioned fire whirl. Take this bastard out. Yeah, buddy. Only 40 experience points, but 500 gold, I'll take that. Here's a great scene right here. Yeah! So cool. Great sprite work there. And <laughs> fix it quickly. That's going to backfire. More great sprite work with the Chancellor and his awesome facial expressions. And now we walk across these jack walk across these jackasses to get back in that is a great touch love it and again I think that's another chest if you leave it alone um, that'll turn into something else in the future I believe I think don't quote me on that they're escaping yeah you can't go that way 
Or maybe you can. Oh, no, they're going to chase me out this way too. <laughs> like those guys went back to their post. <laughs> like, oh, they went downstairs. They're not my problem anymore. Oh, Princess Nadia to the rescue again. Oh, and she's all decked out in her princess garb. <laughs> Who are you looking at over there on the left? Or is she just like looking away in disgust? That would be kind of interesting. Oh, the Chancellor's back from his near-death experience. There we go. Ah, immediate wardrobe change. Let's get out of here. <laughs> While the other guys just sit there. <laughs> Alright, so now... Ah, uh, yes, the king is disappointed. Foreshadowing other stuff. And we get funneled over to the right. And you know what's over there. We just came from over there to get to here, right? So that means, can I can I push these guys around? <laughs> these guys don't even do anything. They're just walking. You guys suck. Yep, that's the only place to go. Is through this gate. Oh, that's right, the other gate was in the canyon. Never mind. I don't know why there would be a gate out of nowhere over here. I was getting ahead of myself. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't want to go back to jail. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can't help but laugh when I see that guy's face. Fantastic work there. All right. See how it get the that sequence there gets a little shorter, that little time travel-y sequence. All right, where the fuck are we? Yeah, this is a new gate. I didn't mean to say we we're going back the same way. Interesting. Another world. So, give me just a second here. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Had some dog issues to attend to, and wow, where the hell are we? That is some February-grade Minnesota snow right there. That is ridiculous. So it looks like we can go down here to the Tran Dome. What the hell is that? Yeah, I got some cash. It's got some cash. Ooh, we got all new stuff. I think we should probably invest in armor. And let's uh, equip accordingly. No, I don't know why. <laughs> would not want to wear an iron suit. That does not sound easy to wear, but let's uh, sell some of this stuff and see if I can get some Iron Helms. And these Karate GIs and all this shit, too. Okay, you got about a thousand bucks. What can I get? Yeah, I can only get two Iron Helms. So, who am I going to give them to? Probably... Yeah, I can least afford to have Chrono die, so... Let's just give it to Luca. Whatever. And we'll sell these and see if we can get one more. Nope, that's not going to work. So, we're still short. Yep. Can't buy anything else. Just need the helm and the auto gun. So, let's uh, keep going. Save money, they'll do you good.
Lab 16 would be a good name for a band. Or an album. Or a song. Or something. Whoa, is that a Chrono Trigger reference, dude? Ah, one of my favorite lines in any game ever. If you're looking for food, you lose. I often tell people that, coming to my house. And here's another iconic line. But you're still hungry. Complete with a stomach growl. Oh, what's going on here? Uh-huh. Interesting. Complete with a nice little piano lick there. So where else can we go? We've upgraded our armor. Um, yeah, Lab 16. Nowhere else we can go, so we might as well head down here. Now you gotta watch out for these rats, because they will steal shit from you. Mostly tonics, but I've seen them steal others. So shouldn't there be a chest down here? See? That bastard stole a tonic. There are chests hidden here and there that are can be tough to find. They're well disguised. Um, and these enemies are interesting. You can, you always want to go after the craters with a physical attack because it'll piss them off. They'll erupt, so to speak, and then um, attack each other. I think that one only, yeah, that one was actually directed at me. Let's do a good old-fashioned fire world. Boy, I could really use some new combos here. These are getting kind of old. At least that guy's gone. There we go. That guy should be out of here. Anyway, what else can I ramble about? Just music stuff. The last few concerts I've been to, it's interesting how, um... You know, I'm beginning to understand why classic rock state, you know, FM stations and stuff like that stay on the air as long as they do and stay popular as long as they do. Because I, it really is very easy. There's a chest right there. Oh, and I can't even get to it because I got blindsided by these guys but yeah it's so strange to hear classic I'm sure I've talked about this before but now you've got classic rock stations playing everything from Steve Miller band fly like an eagle and like Eagles Hotel California and Pink Floyd and all this like super mellow 70s stuff they're playing Rolling Stones they're playing ZZ Top all the way through Ozzy and Black Sabbath and then all the way up through fucking Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, all that stuff. And it's like, there is a big disconnect between <laughs> some of the music they play. Like, they play this, like, really bluesy, fun to listen to, like, Stevie Ray Vaughan song. Or they play Black Magic Woman by Santana. And then they play, like, Wood by Alice in Chains. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a good upgrade. Oh, I've already got one. Never mind. <laughs> then they play some, like, majorly depressing... Oh, can I... <sighs> I couldn't get down there. Let's see if I can. Ah, a... oh, motherfucker. I think all he steals is tonics, actually. I don't think he steals anything else. So let's take these guys out. But yeah, it's weird going from, like, one track being... Fly like an eagle. And it's like... This <laughs> ultra depressing, like, drugged up, like, Lane Staley song. It's just, like, it's a little bit of a contrast of styles there found in one place. You know what I mean? It's like going, it's like having a country station play something from George Jones or Merle Haggard or something like that. And then, here's the latest from Brad Paisley. It's like, no, no, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand blending like Garth Brooks with those those newer guys, but you don't do the old school Tammy Wynette like uh, Waylon Jennings, especially Merle Haggard's one of my favorites. You don't do that. <laughs> you don't blend it with like the the pop aspect. Now Berserker is an interesting uh, accessory here because I believe that will have you attack no matter what. Um, a physical attack. It'll skip your turn and just do a physical attack. Let's give, uh... Oh, uh, what should I do here? Might as well give Marla the power glove, because all I'm doing is physical attacks anyway. I'm trying to preserve my... God, I don't even care about the tonics anymore. Just take them all. Just lay them out on the table for you. Take them. 
Man, just slip by that guy. God, this is kind of an annoying maze, isn't it? We got a chest up here, though. Load bow, very nice. See? Here we go. Might as well give uh, Marl the power glove, because all I'm doing is a physical attacks with her. There is no avoiding this. <laughs> I was looking for treasures down there, but I could not find any, and I got sucked into this battle. That's some bullshit. Alright, at least I can one-hit those guys. But yeah, it's weird for the stuff you grew up with to now be considered a uh, classic rock, so to speak. It's a little strange. Um, and what's funny is that they play the same old overplayed stuff that people are have been sick to death of for years. It's like, oh, now we're playing classic rock from the 90s and it's... Smells like Teen Spirit and Enter Sandman. It's, ugh. it's like, Jesus Christ, aren't people sick of these songs? Is there anybody out there that's like, oh yeah, my favorite Metallica song is Enter Sandman. Is, is there anybody out there, anybody, that like thinks that... Ugh, I just don't understand that. Those songs, you can go to any hockey game, any football game, or watch any hockey game. It's, it's always hockey and football. That play, you can hear it in the arena, you can hear them play as they go to commercial. Like Mariano Rivera's entrance song, when he came onto the mound from the bullpen, was Enter Sandman. And it's like, enough already, I've heard this song too many times, just erase it from from the catalog. Just just wipe it off the face of the earth, please. I feel the same way about um, another song, Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA, please just like delete that song off the face of the earth it needs to go away N nobody wants to hear born in the usa ever again for any reason please i don't think bruce springsteen i think bruce springsteen would agree with that just please do not play play that song ever again fucking hey oof yeah oh these fucking ghost things this is gonna be trouble you can only, uh, as far as I know, use Chronos. Oh shit, I might be stuck here. Do spells work on this guy? What can I do? I'm stuck with Berserker. Does Flame Toss work? Yeah, I can't, I can't access Chronos' stuff. He has to use Slash. This suck. Can I, like, Disable that with an item? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be stuck in this battle for a long time. Shit, that's no good. Can I, if I he oh no, he's still fucking stuck that way. A heal item does not work. Son of a bitch. I'm stuck. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, I've had too much to drink. I don't know what to do. None of these items are going to do anything. Um, Yeah, all he's going to do... There are no spells I can do. I mean, I can't do Fire Whirl. I, I guess that would work, but I can't access... Chrono's menu. Jesus, I feel so stupid right now. Ugh, that's not gonna work, you asshole. Stop doing that. Boy, this was a really... This was like a bait and switch, because you get the Berserker thing here. Um... I wonder if Hypno Wave will work. Oh. That did not do a fucking thing. Okay, uh... Well, shit. God, I'm too far gone. I've been rambling for too long, I completely lost focus. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm stuck! I'm stuck in an endless battle! Um... Yeah... Anyway, let's talk some more about Bruce Springsteen, huh? <laughs> I guess I can try Flame Toss. Is that gonna work? 
Oh shit, it does. Now I feel like a complete moron. <laughs> I thought Slash was the only thing that killed him and I couldn't get to it because Chrono's in Berserker mode. Now he's not taking any damage at all. Is like 50 the lowest he can go against these guys? That's really strange. Oh, nope, never mind. Jinxed it. Now I just have to sit here and wait for... God, what a gigantic waste of time this was. I hope you enjoyed that, viewers. Nest Drunk gets confused. Jesus, that was a colossal waste of time. How much did that take? How long did that take? That was immensely stupid. Now I need to heal like a motherfucker. Yeah, let's get this thing off. Get it off me. I'll, I'll wear a ribbon if I have to. Just get it off me. Christ on a crutch. What was I thinking? Yeah, that dude took all my tonics and I still have like <laughs> 13 of them. Any treasures? No, I'm not seeing it. There's one. An ether. That is helpful. And now we got the toughest opponent in the game coming up here. Um, oh, not before we got more of these guys. Well, at least I'm better prepared this time. Son of a bitch. What a stupid, stupid, stupid move by me. Immensely stupid. Lack of preparation. At least I know that Fire Toss works on it now. I thought it was just Slash. I've never used anything else other than Slash against these guys, so... We learn something new every day. Well, after that comedy of errors, it's time to move on. Oh, come on. Not more of these things. These are the least interesting enemies in the game. They look cool, but... The fact that you have to use a, a specific tech to get rid of them is really shitty. There we go. See, that's what you do. That way you can knock out both at the same time. So this would be a quick battle at least. Yeah, I do have the strategy guide for this game, the Nintendo Power Players Guide, that tells you all sorts of this stuff. And I guess I should have noticed that... Uh, what, is this guy going to wake up? Is he too hungover? God, this guy looks hungover as shit. Looks like me on a Sunday morning. Fucking A. And <laughs> he's just labeled as mutant. I think he's... Is he labeled as tomato mutant in the... In the guide, I want to say? I should really take a look at the guide and the instruction book. For this game. Basically, I really only want to get to one specific point uh, in this game before I uh, sign off. I'm getting close to the end of hour number two here. But there is a specific uh, scene I want to get to. That would be a good uh, close-off point. Yeah, I think those mutants have like 360 hit points, which is, I think, the most by uh, for any enemy in this game. Any not non-boss, and I think there's another one right here. Yep. Just lay in there in bed, hungover. I assume that's his bed. That, that pile of trash is its bed. <laughs> I'm not sure if that thing is part of his head or if it's a hat. Pretty sweet looking hat. Matches his eyes. I wonder if that's by design. And he's got a kiki scarf there. That's what makes him look like a tomato is that, uh, I don't know if those are tomato leaves or... Yeah, they announced several years ago that a tomato is officially a fruit. Which is really hard for me to grasp just because of uh, the existence of ketchup. Does that mean ketchup is a kind of jam or a kind of jelly? Because that's what fruit spreads are. I'm not sure the process that makes those things, you know, uh, what they are is consistent with the process of making uh, ketchup. I just know a friend of mine tried to make his own ketchup one time and then he saw how much sugar you had to use and he was like, nope, I'm not doing that. That's a waste of time. <laughs> It's, way, it's like, I'm never eating ketchup again. I just realized how much sugar is in it. It's pretty funny. But yeah, here we go. This is the most depressing. <laughs> Look at this barrel of sunshine you get to traverse through. Yes, I did. No, oh, not that I care. I don't really care. You know. Uh, Can I go up? Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. We can handle lunatic robots. We're fine with that. 
I've known a lunatic robot in my time here and there. Death Peak. That that information comes in handy much later in the game. Like hours and hours later. But you're still hungry. What a bummer. All right, now we can afford that auto gun. And the, s uh, well, let's sell, uh... Hey, he did say that. All right, let's um unequip some shit. Let's see if I can get some money to get uh, Marl her uh, Iron Helm. That'll really help with this next boss fight. There we go. Now we got plenty. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> when I can just bounce right back to buy. I'm losing it, man. I can't can't hang out here much longer. I'm, this is why I can't Twitch stream. If I did, it would be an hour at a time. I just can't sit in one spot and do one thing for very long. I lose... Uh, my mind wants to wander off and do other things. Um, and I lose focus and what you end up what you end up watching ends up not being all that interesting as you're finding out right here. Blah 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 yeah. Oh dynamite oh, budget. Okay. I wanna go back uh oh. Yeah, where does that lead? That's weird. Alright, so I think to progress we want to talk to let me through, you dipshit. There we go. That's right, he's an old guy surrounded by a bunch of homeless dudes wearing bags apparently, but he's uh, still got a job title. He's the director of something or other. Is that not the right way? No, oh, the dogs are fired up about something. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go this way, I forgot. Well, if I come back dead, we'll let you know. Oops. <laughs> I thought I could do it without... Uh, yeah, as you can see, my, my, my save state trigger is pressing both L and R at the same time, which coincidentally happens to be how I uh, create a save state. So, interesting graphics layout there. Whoa, hold on. We got a big-ass boss fight here. Let's go. Let's kick some ass. Love this boss fight music. It's great. Okay, if you know anything about JRPGs, you always take out the little companion guys on the side first. Get rid of those things ASAP. Do not attack the main thing first. This is common practice in JRPGs. Wow, 84 from Marl. That's pretty good. From just a rinky-dink uh, physical attack. So that is useful. It's going to wait for the fire whirl. Ah, that's going to hurt. Yep. Oh, still over 100, though. All right, we're in good shape. We got good HP. We got good MP. This game is all about management, just like any other RPG. Flee. Nope. Got lucky the last time. So. Let's just do. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna. Hopefully that'll take him out. Yes! So now I can save my strong attacks for the main thing. You do not attack the main guardian until the bits are out. And then he does this big countdown thing until his friends come back. And now we lay on the heavy artillery. Oh, come on, zero? So you only do, yeah, let's provoke this thing and see if he gives us anything. He does not. This machine is an unfeeling. Yeah, we just gotta do our rinky-dink physical attacks. And hope they add up enough to take him out eventually. The bits will come back, though. They will be revived, so to speak. 
spoiler alert, but the Lavos battle is a lot like this. And we are ready for the bits to come back. And let's take out the left one first since that one brings back... To that one I think heals. Nope, that's not going to get the job done. Got one more attack we got to do. Might as well save the fire whirl for this one and then do one more attack with... With Marl, shouldn't hurt too much. Hopefully I won't have to revive anything. Anything, that'll take that one out. Good job. Uh-oh, taking, taking some heavy damage here. 64. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. That was bad. Fuck. Please don't be... Oh my god, 58? No! See, that is why you don't want to do that. Because I'm just gonna fucking... Ruin your day. Shiza. Okay, um. No! God, I lost Chrono. Fuck. Oh, well, I got five revives. That's fine. God, I can't believe I lost a character in this game. Or in this battle, rather. Believe me, I'll lose lots of characters in, throughout this. If I keep playing past this, we're getting towards the end here. Now you just, uh. Pound the shit out of this motherfucker. There we go. 128. That's good. Your basic bitch attacks. Playing with the ASCII pad. So you just throw it on turbo so you can get them as fastly, fastly, as quickly as possible. 86. That's a good one. 66. There we go. We got through them. I can't believe I lost Chrono. All because of a simple mistake of attacking a bit while it was... Or attacking the main guardian while a bit was around. So that's what happens. That's how you lose these battles. 300 experience points. That is big time. That should level up everybody. Yep, there we go. That was big time. Clutch! Yeah, it's your face, Smart. No, I'm just kidding. Your face reeks. Drunk look, it's a dead guy. Looks like a porno mag. What, inside? In the building? No, probably not. Ah, yes. A clue that the rat. More than just a statue. One mid ether. Let's get the f Flip out of here. We are going to need to heal up first before we get to the next area. Actually, I don't think there's too many. Oh, there. We got to sprint and catch it. Dash with the B button. Am I going to get this thing? Bam! Caught him just like freaking Eric Kendricks in the open field. Alright, so you gotta do that in order to access this. You can't just do it anyway. There we go. Oh, there are enemies. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can get past. No, I can't. Take these guys out very quickly. Oh, and he. <laughs> love it when he attacks his own people. Mm -hmm. It's always funny. Oh, whatever. 37 damage from a freaking Mickey Mouse enemy like you. Whatever. That's some garbage. Alright, let's get a move on here. Don't really have much else to say about music. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other stuff to say. Plus, I'm running out of time to ramble about stuff. Hopefully this is a decent uh, enough LP. Mostly been sticking talking about the game. But uh, really I'm just looking forward to getting to this next part, this next uh, story part coming up here.
What are these bugs? They look, uh... They're bugs with long necks. They're like... They have beetle bodies with a... Mantis neck and head or something. I don't know. Highly unusual. Let's see if I can skip these guys. Oh, there we go. Let's get to the last part here. Oh, fuck this. Let's see if we can just get past everything. Mm, don't go that way. And now. And past this guy. I think we want to go here. There we go. Alright, here we go. The information center. Hopefully it still works. Yes! And of course, Luca manages to know how to use <laughs> stuff that's 1300 years past her time, you know, technology that's way beyond her stuff, her knowledge. Why wouldn't she be? She's a genius. Okay, so that's where we need to go to continue the plot, but... Marl says, what does this button do? And it triggers something unexpected. Uh-oh. Whoa, what in the hell is this? Everything looks all nice and peaceful. Kind of similar to you know, the structure here with the domes and stuff. Looks uh, similar to 2300 AD, but uh, this does not. We got a giant porcupine demon coming out and spraying the landscape with a rain of fire. And I mean rain as an R-A-I-N, not rain of fire like the, sl like the Slayer L. Or, no, that's rain of blood. Never mind. What rain of fire is that terrible movie with like Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey. And yes, Lavos is what's destroying our world. <laughs> That's right, this is our future. This is the way the world ends. Deal with it. Cold hard reality does not care what you f The universe does not give one shit about your feelings. But I do like her attitude. We know what happens. We have this technology to jump around through time. Let's do something about it. Let's. That's right. I wonder what happens when you say no. Okay, let's go. All right, big inspiration, sweeping epic music. What could possibly happen next? I'm so fired up to play this game, but unfortunately I have to be uh, going now. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch if you made it this far. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.